I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and this is a look at the question of whether fans actually cool the air in a room. Um, so this is something that comes up a lot, you know, um, when there's a heat wave and things like that, a lot of agencies will recommend put fans in your home, but do fans actually cool the air down? Um, if you stand in front of one, obviously you feel cooler, but is it actually, you know, causing the same impact that an air conditioner or something like that would cause in the house? Um, so to answer that question, I've pulled out my FLIR 1 Generation 3 thermal camera, and the FLIR thermal camera allows you to see the heat generated by objects. Um, and I'm pointing this at a Honeywell uh, room fan that I've got running here, and you can see a couple of things right off the bat. So the control panel on the top of the fan here um, is actually generating some heat um, from the electronics in there. And then let's take a look at the actual fan body itself. And you can see that actually, you know, it's a little bit uh, warmer than the rest of the room around it. So I can pull up the spot meter here. The fan itself is, you know, 70 degrees. And if I point this down at the wall, it's actually, uh, you know, basically about the same, but even maybe, depending on where I'm looking, uh, a little bit cooler uh, on the wall, 71 and a half down here. You know, 70 degrees down here. And so, you know, the basic answer to the question is no, fans actually don't cool the air. In fact, they make it just slightly warmer because if you're thinking about fans are using electricity, um, there's moving parts, and that's rele releasing a certain amount of waste heat. So actually, fans um, add a little bit of heat to the room. And that's why you're seeing here that the fan in itself and the air coming out of it is actually a couple of degrees. Uh, warmer than the air uh, that's just, you know, down at the, the bottom of the room here. Um, so, yeah, the answer is, you know, looking at this, you can see fans are not actually cooling the air in your house. So what does cool the air in your house? Uh, pause, and then we'll take a look. So what does cool the air? An air conditioner does. Um, this is a register for my air conditioner, um, and you can see in contrast to the fan, where the air coming out is actually a little bit warmer, the air here is dramatically colder than uh, the air around it. So if I look at the temperature of the wall, it's like 76 degrees up here. Um, and then if I look at the uh, register, it's 54, 55, 53. Um, so it's putting out much colder air that's going to be cooling my house down very efficiently. And it expends a lot more energy than a fan in order to do this. There's a compressor, um, there's a whole system, and you know it's probably a fan might use 100 watts, 200 watts versus the air conditioner to achieve the cooling that it does is using, in my case, about 2,000 to 3,000 watts. So it takes a lot of energy to get the heat out of an environment, but actually you can see, unlike the fan, it is doing that. The register is significantly colder than the area around it. So coming back to the fan, you know, the question is, if this is not actually cooling anything down and it's using power, should we just throw all our fans out now because they don't actually do anything? It's a giant fan conspiracy. Um, and the answer is no. There's three things that fans do do um, that actually do have an impact. And um, the first one is they move air around. So if, you, if the outside air is colder than the air in your home, then a fan can very effectively bring that colder outside air in and help to cool your home down. So that's what I use my fan here for. I have it right in front of this window. Um, and if I'm, you know, it's the morning and the air in the house is pretty warm still, but it's very cold outside, which often happens where I live in California, I'll turn the fan on, I'll open the window, and it'll bring that colder air into the house. And I'm not paying anything to cool that air down like I would be with my air conditioner. So it's bringing that colder air in, and it can actually cool the house down pretty substantially and pretty fast if there's a big enough difference between the outside air and the inside air. So that's the first thing that a fan can do. Um, the second thing is it creates air movement. So within your house, and if you, even if you have your air conditioner running, there's going to be areas that are warmer than others. And, you know, so the upstairs may be warmer than the downstairs. Even the top of a room may be warmer than uh, the bottom of a room. Or one room may have uh, a heat generating appliance, like a stove in it, that's going to get hotter. So to, to move the air in your home can actually help because, you know, if you're in a room that's hot and another room has colder air already, then if you circulate the air around, um, it'll feel uh, a little more consistent temperature and you may be able to uh, lower the temperature in your hotter rooms without having to use the air conditioning unit. So fans are great for that and that's a lot of what ceiling fans do is just to circulate the air 
in a room, and particularly in the winter, to take the hot air that rises to the top of the room and push it down into the living space so that it's helping to keep you warmer um, so that you don't have to use the heat as much. And then the third thing, and I think why people think fans cool them down, is that, in fact, if you're a human and you stand in front of a fan, it is cooling you down. Um, and the reason for that is not that the air coming out of the fan is actually cooler, it's because of the way that humans cool ourselves down. And that's through evaporative cooling. So, you know, you sweat, um, and the water that you generate by doing that evaporates from your skin. And that transition from a liquid into a gas with water absorbs a ton of energy. It's a very um, uh, energy-intensive process. So releasing that, that sweat or liquid on your skin and then having that evaporate cools you down pretty substantially. Now, if there's no air movement, though, then that evaporative cooling is not nearly as effective. So you're not able to cool yourself as well if the air is very stagnant. And that's where fans come in. So if you stand in front of a fan, it's constantly blowing air over the uh, moisture that's on your skin, either from sweating or just because you're a person. Um, and in doing that, it's making that evaporative cooling that your body does itself much, much more efficient. And so you will feel cooler and you actually will be cooler for having that uh, increase in your evaporative cooling. It's not that the air itself hitting you is actually cooler. Uh, you feel cooler because, in fact, that air movement is helping your body to more efficiently cool itself. So three reasons why a fan is still uh, you know, good to have and helpful uh, for cooling the house. But, you know, because it's actually not generating cooler air, there's some good ways that you shouldn't use a fan. Uh, keeping your windows closed, you know, putting it in just uh, in a room that you're not using and having to blow air around probably isn't going to do that much. Positioning it so that it blows on you and helps you to cool yourself uh, probably will do a lot. Um, finding rooms that are warmer or cooler than the rest of the house and using the fan to blow air in, that, in and out of them uh, was a good way to use a fan versus, again, just putting it in an unused room and letting it run. And then finally, if you can, uh, find a differential between the outside and inside temperature where you want to bring cool air into the home, or in the winter maybe you want to bring warm air into the home if it's hotter outside during the day, um, opening a window and getting some air circulation from indoors and outdoors using the fan is a good way to use it. Um, so again, it's looking at uh, whether fans cool the air. No, but that mean, doesn't mean that there's uh, you know, not good ways to use them that are much more energy efficient than your air conditioner or heater. Uh, if you found this helpful in any way, please subscribe to my channel, it really helps.